it's Daniel to be here, and today I'm reacting to a motivational speech from Rudy Francisco. So, let's just get into this. I'll link the original video down below. Be sure to check it out for yourselves. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to recommend some other videos for me to do, and let's just get into it after I get to the playground. So yeah, Hammy will definitely be coming back to some of my videos, so, yeah. Yeah! Okay, here we go. Okay. May 26, 2003, Aaron Ralston was hiking. A boulder fell on his right hand. He waited four days. Then he amputated his own arm with a pocket knife. On New Year's Eve, a woman who was bungee jumping in Zimbabwe, the court broke. She then fell into a river and had to swim back to land in crocodile-infested waters with a broken collarbone. Claire Champlin was smashed in the face by a five-pound watermelon being propelled by a slingshot. Matthew Probus was hit by a javelin. David Striegel was punched in the mouth by a kangaroo. The most amazing part of these stories is when asked about the experience, they all smiled, shrugged, and said, I guess things could have been worse. So go ahead. Tell me that you're having a bad day. Tell me about the traffic. Tell me about your boss. Tell me about the job you were trying to quit for the past four years. Tell me the morning is a townhouse burning to the ground. Tell me the snooze button is a fire extinguisher. Tell me the alarm clock stole the keys to your smile. Drove it into 7 a.m. and the crash totaled your happiness. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me how blessed are we to have tragedy so small it can fit on the tips of our tongue. You see, when Evan, you see, when Evan lost his legs, he was speechless. When my cousin was assaulted, she didn't speak for 48 hours. When my uncle was murdered, we had to send out a search party to find my father's voice. Most people, most people, most people have no idea that tragedy and silence have the exact same address. When your day is a museum of disappointments hanging from events that were outside of your control. When you find yourself flailing in an ocean of why is this happening to me? When it feels like your guardian angel put in his two week notice two months ago and just decided not to tell you. When it feels like God is a babysitter that's always on the phone. We get punched in the esophagus by a fistful of life. Remember that every year, two million people die of dehydration. So it doesn't matter if the glass is half full or half empty. There's water in the cup. <laughs> Like this, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to recommend some other videos. I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.